I'm excited to jump in and talk some Chris Jones, man. He has looked fantastic. And as advertised with um, the versatility at the edge position, coming back inside of the three tech and making plays, he looks strong. He looks fast. He looks the part of what the chiefs wanted him to be, you know, what the fans wanted him to be. Yeah. He looks the part of like a really, really motivated, a really, really healthy, a really, really good fit. Um, just locked in Chris Jones. And that's a scary sight. I mean, the Chiefs are going to need him, especially with, you know, the depth isn't, it's kind of like the wide receiver spot. Like they have talent in that room, but it's either specialty talent um, or it's talent that's all on the same level. Like there's not a standout guy or else they wouldn't have had to move Chris Jones outside. So with Frank Clark's future being somewhat murky, I guess. Like, I don't think anything big is going to happen, but you never know with that. So Chris Jones on the edge, looking fantastic. Um, Sam just, I know you, I think, tweeted that he was in for a 20-sack season, and, you know, he could get one per game, and that'd be 17, so it wouldn't be completely unheard of. Um, I I told people, I think, a few weeks ago, like, pump the brakes and said 12. Um, I'm starting to lean more than 12. Like, that's... <laughs> He looks good, and I think he's going to get more than 12 because what was his career high? Was it 15 and a half that one year, or am I thinking Um, of somebody else? Well, PFF does sacks differently than uh, other other groups do, so they have, like, the half sacks uh, count as full sacks. So on PFF, his career high for a regular season is 16, um, including postseason. Oh, it's still 16. Okay, so his career high for PFF's way of doing sacks – of every half sack and every full sack is a sack 16 is his career high and that's pretty damn good <laughs> that that's that's pretty good um for a guy that you know he hasn't had the cleanest bill of health he hasn't always um been used the way i guess he wants to be like now he's truly happy in his position and being able to rotate he loves spags um spags loves him obviously he has a bunch of they're winning like that helps obviously it's it's aligning for a huge chris jones season and like my thing was i could see him having the best year of his career but still having 12 sacks that's what i said a few weeks ago like i think the pressure rate could be great i think the run defense could be better now after watching him a few times in the preseason i'm like man pardon my French, like to hell with the the 12 sacks, I think he's going to have that 15 mark or maybe even more. And that could be an overreaction. Sack totals fluctuate, pressure rates more important, I think. But Correct. the point stands, he's been a beast. Yeah, Chris Jones has been absolutely just burning up offensive lines. Offensive tackles cannot handle this man, similarly to how offensive guards and centers could not handle that man. And what he is going to do to NFL offensive lines in the coming weeks is very scary for certain offenses. He is looking like he is going to have the best season of his career. I think he will have the best season of his career, which is terrifying because he has become the close second to Aaron Donald. He is the second best defensive interior pass rusher by a mile at this point. And so far, just tearing up offensive tackles he's got a 93 pff grade so far in the two preseason games he had like a 95 in the the second game against arizona he just absolutely tore them up ripping to shreds i don't know if he'll actually get to 20 sacks but i think him and aaron donald are the two most likely players in the nfl this year to get to 20 sacks i think don yeah donald already did it I think Jones can be the next guy to do it and off the edge might, might be the answer for him. He might now be like just absolutely crazy. 